Hey guys, welcome back. What a beautiful first day of spring. Thank you for tuning in today. Today I wanted to talk about AR-15 zeros and the different ranges you can zero in your AR-15. I was watching a video this morning uh, that was titled, The Best Way to Zero In Your AR-15. I was intrigued so I clicked on it. I started watching. Uh, this gentleman uh, had a lot of secondhand information. One guy told him that 50 yards is the best way to zero your AR-15. Okay, I was like, this is interesting, I'll keep listening. As I'm listening, watching his video, reading the comments, I was noticing a lot of misinformation out of there, and I thought, well, maybe I can make a video and share a little more information and share my two cents about zeroing your AR-15. So, uh, again, this guy said 50 yards is the best way to zero in your AR-15. Now, I don't agree with that. I don't disagree with that. My opinion is, depending on your situation, depending on what you use your AR-15 for, is going to determine the best way to zero in your AR-15. you got to take a lot of things into effect. What are you hunting? Are you shooting at human silhouettes? Are you shooting at deer? Are you in the middle of the woods where you're not going to get more than a 50 or 100 yard shot? Or are you, are you in a field where you could get a 100, 200, 300 yard shot? Are you in an urban combat situation? Are you in a rural combat situation? This all affects where you should zero in your AR-15. Looking at the looking at the 50 yard zero and why this guy thinks it's the best, the only thing that I can see okay, is that the difference between a 50 yard and a 100 yard is you take this 400 yard shot and you bring it up from the knees on a 100 yard zero and you bring it up to, well, that looks like his junk or maybe even his bladder, but you, you bring it up and you put that shot into play. That's a 400 yard shot. Uh, I don't, I haven't taken many 400 yard shots. I don't know if you guys do. But that's the only thing I could see as being an advantage of zeroing at 50 yards. Uh, as you can see, the shot group is a little spread out. The reason, so here it is. The reason I prefer, I would zero in personally my AR-15 at 100 yards, which I do, or 200 yards. And the main reason is, is look at this shot group, guys. Okay, anywhere from 25 yards to 200 yards, you are right there in the bullseye. You are right there in the vital organs, okay? Now, don't get me wrong, guys. Any shot, any dot on these silhouettes is a kill shot, okay? If you're aiming at human silhouettes. But like I said, you're more probably inclined to use your AR-15 for target shooting and maybe some hunting. Now, I like this shot group a lot more than I like this one. And again, uh, I shoot iron sights. Uh, I know a lot of guys like red dots and other high-powered scopes on their AR-15s. Me, I'm a sucker for iron sights. So if I'm, let's say I'm in the woods and all I have is my AR-15 and I'm really hungry and I want to hunt squirrels or rabbits or turkey or deer, this shot group is going to get me right into a kill shot. Excuse me. Right into a kill shot from anywhere from 25 yards to 200 yards okay and if I want to shoot something at 300 yards I'll just aim a little I'll aim a little high this shot group is a little more sporadic you're gonna be constantly adjusting for elevation and I'm I don't know about you guys but personally I'm not a sniper uh, I don't have a high 7 power 10 powered scope with elevation ticks and windage ticks I use iron sights so maybe with a fancy scope with elevation ticks you could compensate for this shot group, but I much rather just shoot in, excuse me, zero in at 100 yards and have this nice shot group right here. Even this nice shot group, if you really want to bring up the 300 yard target into play. Again, if you feel like you're going to be taking a lot of 400 yard shots and you really want the option of sniping with your AR 15, then by all means, zero in at 50 yards. But I'm just explaining to you guys why the military does 100 yards 
and why even 100 yards, in my opinion, would be a little more effective, just looking at those shot groups. So uh, if you guys you like this image, you can go Google Images, Yahoo Images, whatever, type in AR-15 zeros. You'll get a bunch of images like this. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for tuning in on this beautiful spring day. If you guys have any comments, please comment below if you have any questions. Again, contact me, comment below. I'll be happy to answer any questions that I can or look up any answers to questions that I can't. But I just hope this kind of like explained a little bit on how there are different ways to zero in your AR-15 and which one of these ways might be better for you. Uh, I love this graphic. I've used it for years now. Uh, I'm not taking credit for it. I got this from the internet. I don't really know who made this graphic. But to me, this breaks it down, helps me decide which range I want to zero in my AR-15. So guys, I hope this helped. Uh, please like, dislike, comment, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. So get out there, zero in your AR-15s any way you want, at any range you want. Enjoy shooting. Be safe. Come back for the next video. Thank you guys so much. Take care. God bless.